Hey everyone, I'm Jake Laverne, I head of product at Docker, and I'm excited to be here with you all at WASM Day. And uh, as a member, a proud member of CNCF, uh, with a seat on the Technical Oversight Committee uh, that Justin Cormack, our CTO, holds, uh, Docker gets a chance to see a lot of exciting projects coming through. So a lot of the WASM projects coming through are in sandbox status. Justin and team get to work with the maintainers of these projects, um, and especially through our collaborative efforts on the Container D project, uh, we get to learn a lot about what's coming along. So projects like Fermion and Spin and many others, uh, WASM Edge and WASM Time, and it's a really exciting time to be on a journey together to help each other build great software and make the most of secure and reusable components. And this is what Kelsey was talking about, being on a journey together as a community, because there is a big burden to maintaining what we are creating here. Um, and I think we all want to share in that burden. Back in 2019, Docker saw the promise of WebAssembly on the server. Um, and that's why we were experimenting with WASM and WASI even back then. Um, and there was a famous tweet, actually, that Solomon Hikes, our founder, put out uh, back in March of 2019 that said something like, if WASM and WASI had existed in 2008, we wouldn't have needed to create Docker. That's how important it is. Um, and all hyperbole aside, we believe even more so today um, that WASM is an incredibly important technology on the server side. Uh, that's why we're using our learnings from containers to help the WebAssembly community, uh, and more importantly, to help millions of developers discover WASM. That's really what we're trying to do, is help create that bridge. Um, in software, we build things in the context of what came before, so that we can benefit from past learnings and so that we can smooth adoption for masses, for the masses of developers. We don't want everybody to have to approach WASM from a greenfield application perspective because there are already hundreds of millions of non-greenfield applications out there already written in Java, in Go, in Python, in Rust. We want to let developers use the tools that they're comfortable with and that they know and love. And Solomon even followed up uh, on the next day to his tweet uh, and talked about a tight coexistence between containers and WASM modules, um, and the entire ecosystem, actually. And this coexistence is what we've been working towards together with the community. You should be able to run a WASM module side by side with a SQL database and a cloud message queue, all accessible from your desktop or from a Kubernetes cluster. So later on today, Ivan Pedrazas in the office of our CTO is giving a lightning talk, uh, everything you wanted to know to adopt WASM now, where you can hear more about how to actually get started and run WASM with the tools that you already know and love. A big key to this vision is bringing the industry together across a variety of components and runtimes. And in this, we share a mission with the Bytecode Alliance, which was formed to shepherd exactly this type of cross-industry ecosystem and collaboration. Bytecode Alliance, um, Bytecode Alliance mission includes the statement that the problem we're attempting to solve is fundamentally a cross-industry problem. Our intent is to bring groups together to solve problems for everyone. This is the Bytecode Alliance's intent. This is also Docker's intent. As a community, we've learned a lot about what, what made Docker successful, the types of workflows and developer experiences that it takes to make containerized development possible, not just for a few, but for all developers. Primitives like build, share, and run that work seamlessly between environments from your laptop all the way through to production environments were indispensable for the widespread adoption of containers. And we believe that some of these learnings about developer workflows and developer experience can help bring WASM to the most inclusively large set of developers possible. And to do this, we need to show all developers the possibilities that WASM opens up. In terms of performance and overhead, in terms of isolation, in terms of platform agnosticism, all the things that build on top of what we've already got in place. We need to show them concrete mechanisms for incorporating these into existing work and existing applications. We need to build a bridge for developers. 
And so to that end, we've been working with more teams and projects to make sure that Docker can support as many WASM runtimes as possible. As of late March, this now includes Spin, Slight, WASM Time, and WASM Edge, all critical projects within the ecosystem. And in addition, Run WASI is a multi-company effort to make it easier to write container D shims for WASM workloads. Last December, the Run WASI project was donated and moved to the CNCF Container D GitHub organization. And with a lot of work from people at Microsoft and Second State and Docker and others, we now have enough features in Run WASI to run WASM containers with Docker or in a Kubernetes cluster. There's still a lot of work to do, but there are enough features for people to start testing. So I'd encourage people to play around with the WASM integration in Docker, to play around with Run WASI, to run containers inside Kubernetes. You can do this all using Docker Desktop. And if you'd like to chat with the Run WASI maintainers, be sure to join in on the CNCF's Run WASI channel. With that, I hope you enjoy WASM Day. I hope you enjoy the entire conference. Please find me or Justin or others from Docker uh, around the conference all day today um, and this week. Thank you very much.